David and Victoria Beckham are marking a major milestone. The soccer star took to his Instagram on Tuesday to share a sweet throwback pic of himself and the Spice Girl holding their dog just days after their wedding on July 4th, 1999. On this day, July 4th, 99, 24 years and counting to the best wife, mummy, and drinking partner, most of the time. Happy anniversary, love you so much, he captioned the post. Victoria also took to her Instagram to honor the many years her hubby has been by her side, writing alongside a recent pic, still holding hands and still laughing, with you, not just at you. I love you so much, at David Beckham. Kiss, kiss. Victoria also commemorated her anniversary with David by celebrating with three of their kiddos in London, 20-year-old Romeo, 18-year-old Cruz, and 11-year-old daughter Harper. The carousel of pics featured family snapshots of their festivities in London over the weekend to celebrate the occasion, leading with a shot of Victoria sitting beside her daughter in a car on the way to dinner. Captioning the post, Last night in London celebrating our 24-year wedding anniversary. Love you all so much. Kiss at David Beckham, at Romeo Beckham, at Cruz Beckham, hashtag Harper7. Kiss. Victoria and David's eldest son, Brooklyn, and his wife, Nicola Peltz, were not present for the anniversary festivities. But Brooklyn recently talked to Axis Hollywood about his marriage and the relationship advice his parents gave him. Brooklyn, I love that like, and I mean this sincere, sincerely, yeah. that you have really adopted the, the advice of happy wife, happy life. Yep. Like, you really seem to have gotten yep. it together <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Who, who, how did you learn it? Who told you? And who was the example of like, well, listen, if it's going to go well, it's got to go her way in a lot of ways. In it was a lot my of dad. Instances. It was you, my dad. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. He was just like, just live life and just make sure your missus is happy, you know? That's I mean, kind of, that's what he told me. That's best, of, that's, so, I mean, a good advice you can get, yeah, I think. I that. do everything to make her happy and make her feel comfortable, so it's good fun. You I know, love Girls it. run the world and guys just live on this planet, so. You're not wrong about it. You are not wrong about that. I, I, it is cool <laughs> to think about your dad giving you that advice and now being, yeah. what, we're almost, what, a year now away almost. from the, the anniversary of you guys' wedding? Yeah, we got married in April last year, so. Doesn't it fly by? Crazy. Right. I love it though. Yeah? Mar yeah, I, the thing is like, when we were engaged, like saying like fiance was just like annoying. I just like wanted her to be my wife. Yeah. Really? Know, now I can say like, oh, my wife, you know. But I can still call her my missus, so. Brooklyn, I don't know that I've ever fallen in love with someone I have interviewed <laughs> in such a quick amount of time. You literally just said, Calling her my fiance was mm -hmm. like annoying because I wanted to call her my wife. Mm -hmm. That must be one of the sweetest things I've ever heard anybody say about their partner. But I, I, it is, there is something about the way, at least I'll say this, mm -hmm. and, I, and I hope that you understand this yeah. with the utmost respect, there is something about what you share in your relationship and the way that it encourages other people to mm -hmm. be loving and kind. Yeah to their, their partners, to recognize that loving and kindness in their, in their partners. I've yeah. seen headlines about you, like people are saying that we need more men like Brooklyn Beckham after they realize he's the perfect husband. <laughs> and I know that there's not a situation where you really are the perfect husband, yeah. but that you, it does seem to be an intentional um, uh, message that like, I love my wife yeah. and I'm doing everything I can to make her life yeah. as great as possible. Yeah, I mean, like, she's made my life a hundred times better, and, you know, I just think, like, it's probably the most important part of someone's life is finding the right person to, mm. you know, because that's your whole life after that point, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm excited to be a dad, and I just can't wait. Wait, so you do, you do want to do the, 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 the larger family thing? Are you guys going to follow your own models with, like, the big family? Yeah. I mean, I always say, obviously, I'm not the one having the baby, so it's however many she wants, but she's told me she wants a big family. Really? So, yeah. Okay, give me a range. Like, we're talking three to four, <clears throat> we're talking five to six, seven to 15, like, what's the situation? <laughs> um, you know, we've had conversations and she's like, oh, I kind of want four or five, and then we want to adopt two or three, so. Wow. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Yeah. That's really so beautiful. We want a, little, a lot of kids. We have a lot of dogs and we love it. So it's like how we kind of have five, you know, kids right now with our dogs. They're just crazy. <laughs>